Hello all, I know it's been a uh, long while since I did my last video about the uh, Skaven airship I was doing but I've not been able to film for the last couple of months because I've had my brother back from university and my filming room also doubles up as his uh, spare bedroom he's not here so I've got quite a lot done on the airship I've got the balloon finished and I had a little bit of a trouble doing the hull I'm um, still trying to figure that out at the moment because um, the irregular shape I picked, I couldn't bend the wood round the hull like I've done for different different ships. I thought I could use the technique on this, but it didn't quite work out that way. But I, I kind of put that to one side because I was getting a little bit frustrated with trying to do it until I came up with a new idea. So I carried on with the balloon. But uh, this is the balloon. It's uh, quite a large piece. I'll just... Uh, Zoom out a little bit and move it round this way, it's probably a bit better. But uh, this is the overall balloon that I've made for it. Um, the actual main thing was a rugby ball, which I covered in a bit of, uh, sorry about the camera, a bit of Vaseline, a um, couple of balsa wood fins. Uh, in the engine at the back there is actually two uh, plastic takeaway cartons glued together and a computer processor fan glued in place there and a couple of strips of wood to make it look like a bit of a, a bit more mechanical and the netting believe it or not is a pair of fishnet stockings I stretched over the balloon because um, I've seen other people who've made airships and it looks a little bit uneven most of the ones I've seen online so I decided to uh, take a bit of poetic license in here and uh, Basically, it. I took. I had a look at a lot of reference photos of airship, early airships, and this is kind of a bit like the uh, old Picard style balloons, the French, um, French design with netting holding over a big, big air bladder essentially. But uh, that's the balloon. Unfortunately, when I was uh, drawing it to cut it out, um, I used a magic sharpie marker. To draw the lines when you were to cut when I was uh, taking out the rugby ball from the mold and no matter how many layers of paint I've put on this thing the sharpie marker keeps coming through it's barely noticeable from a distance but when you get close you can see the actual line where I made the marker but so that's the actual balloon finished for the airship and then started on converting a couple of orc death copters from 40k to being like um, Skaven gyrocopters from um, a book that I've read and based this airship off of a yeah a black library book called Vermintide where the crazy warlock engineer builds himself a giant airship of death but steals the plans for a couple of dwarf gyrocopters as like an air patrol around it but this essentially is a couple of spare death copters I had I cut the rockets out built a nose cone up stuck a couple of glyphs on it started to stick in a Skaven storm vermin bodies and stuff I had spare with control mechanism ground off the internal combustion engine and replaced it with a resin crystal I had but that's one and there's going to be a second one it's going to go on the other side which is a very similar that's actually all finished now just need to build the rotor blades on the top replaced a lot of the steel work with wood because obviously steel is quite a large well quite hard to find in the fantasy universe so they won't build a full airship out of steel so there's my second death card Defcopter, gyrocopter, hybrid thing. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, the hull's still eluding me, but I think I've come up with an idea of using um, air dry clay, covering the entire hull in a thin layer of that and etching in a um, wood pattern from some old plastic pieces of like wooden te terrain things from Games Workshop, like Witch Fate Tour and stuff, using the floor from that to give me the wood texture. But um, any 
comments or suggestions would be greatly appreciated because this thing is driving me nuts trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, give this wooden pattern but so uh, yeah that's where I am with the airship right now so and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and uh, till the next one cheers bye